106. 106 KMEL. It's 106 KMEL. Your girl Shay Diddy sitting down with my man Jacquees. Yeah, yeah. So I'm excited to have you here for the first time. Thank you. How are you feeling right now? Feel good. Real good. Off that tour bus. Yeah, yeah, definitely off the tour bus. And four hours of sleep. Oh, really? Yeah. What? How do you? So you guys drove up here from L.A., right? Yeah, it was lit last night. I saw. Y'all shows be insane. Y'all, how long you been on tour right now? Um, been on tour. Well, I've been on this tour since August. August. Yeah, you know I've been on the road all year, so I forgot. But yeah, August. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, i just been on the road. Now, how has it been on tour with Tori? Like, have you guys fond, like bonded a little bit more? Yeah, or? Tori, that's my man. That's your man? Yeah, that's my man. Like, that's my boy. Now, I've seen him on stage, wilding out, climbing the yeah, raptors. Right. Have yeah, you rockstar. tried to pick up any of that? Nah, I'm not I'm not doing that. You're not doing nah, that? that's not me. What do you do when you hit the stage, then? She got to come see. Really? Yeah, you know me, I'm... I feel like you be trying to come out your clothes. You a ladies' man. So it's so player. It's so, <laughs> it's so special. <laughs> so you are on tour with Tory Lanez now. Have you guys had a chance to actually work together on music? Is that something you guys foresee in the future? Well, um, definitely. Um, our producers they done started, um, you know, doing a you know production together. So mm-hmm. I walked on the bus the other day. His uh, producer was on my bus, and I was like, "Oh, y'all boys working?" He was on the he was on the bus with my producer. Mm-hmm. I actually tried to get on a, uh, one of his records the other day. He got another tape he working on, mm-hmm. but we didn't get to work on. Um, I don't know. We couldn't find our engineer or whatever. But we supposed to be working today. We said once we got back back up, we was gonna do it. So I think today gonna be the night that we gonna get in. Y'all actually bring y'all producers together, yeah. like on the tour with y'all. Yeah, yeah. I got mine, Nash B. You know, Nash B is my producer. Signed to FYB. Oh wow. Yeah, FY FYB. That's that's from, that's me. <laughs> He's like, Fresh young boys. Me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We taking over. So when y'all are on tour, like so how does that actually work? I've always been curious about that, how you guys are actually in the mind state to make music. Like, is it just based on the feeling that y'all feeling? So he makes a beat for it, or is it like he makes beats and he's like, Yo, you like this? You like this? Yeah, I mean my man just Nash just he he's always making beats. Yeah. You know, he's always making beats. So he might just be playing something and I'll be like, You just did that? Mm-hmm. And he be like, Yeah, and I'll be like, Well pull it up. And that's just how I go. <laughs> really? And then y'all just go in there? Yeah, we we go in. Nash done produced, like, some of my fans' favorite records, like Bounce, yeah. BD, mm-hmm. um, Come Through. Mm-hmm. Um, he done did all the jams. He said he done did them all. Yeah, definitely. But big shout out to all the other producers I work with, too. But Nash B, he got, he, he got the... He got that bounce. I feel like every artist always has that one producer that they feel super comfortable with and can really just do anything with them. We're taking over them. the game. We're going to take over the game, me and Nash V. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's like, that's how it is. Now let's talk about this new album. 4275. Do we have a date yet? Because I remember, I hear it was supposed to be 11-11. Yeah, it was supposed to be 11-11. That would have been crazy. I know, right? Friday. Yes. Yeah, Damn, that was Friday? But that was this Friday. That'd Look at his face. That would have been crazy. But What's going on? First quarter. First quarter. Yeah, first quarter. Are we making some additions to it? Some changes? Yeah. I mean, I've just put some put, put some more gas on it. Put some more gas? Yeah, I had to put some more gas on it. Like, I could have did it like that, but I wanted to put a little more gas on it just because this is the first album. Yeah. You know, this is my first album. I always did mixtapes, but this is the first album, so I, I had to drop a little more gas on it. So we're gonna make sure, you know, we're gonna make sure the plan is all the way right. Cause the music all the way right, but we're gonna make sure the plan is the plan is all the way right. Cause I wanna be bigger than ever. You want to be bigger than that. It's, yeah. it's your time to shine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his face. Now, I'm asking about the album because it's just coincidental that we saw that you were in the studio with Chris Brown lately. Yeah, yeah. That's my brother. Big shout out to Chris. Now I you love got, Chris. Yeah, and y'all work together. How'd y'all even come together, by the way? Uh, That was like one of my dreams. I ain't gonna lie. Why? When I was young, I used to pray for that. I used to be like, hey, I just pray that that he like know me as an artist you know what i'm saying i want yeah. him to know who i am i want to know i exist yeah. like you feel me? i really like want brother be like hey that's my little brother like when i come up you know yeah. what i'm saying it happened it was crazy i used to tell my manager that like bro i hope that be like bro it's gonna happen you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. but that was my idol growing up you know i ain't gonna lie like you know him and michael jackson you know i just felt like for what i wanted to do as far as singing you know that's what i looked up to of course i looked up to a bunch of other people yeah but you know and it happened you know i got with chris brown um, I got with him. It was my boy Hood. Um, mm-hmm. Big shout out to Hood. Um, no, it actually started with Reese. Big shout out to Reese. Reese introduced me to Hood, and mm-hmm. Hood was with Chris Brown at the time. They used to come to the A for the uh, celebrity basketball games for Luda Day. Of course. And uh, I remember Chris came. Um, 
Chris came to one of the games and I was finna run up on him, but then I ran up on Hood. I was like eight, I was like seventeen. He said I was and finna I, run up on yeah, him. You I, can't say I, it yeah, like that. We yeah. said run up on him, and people be like, "What?" I'm not. No, I was gonna run up on my boy. Like yeah. I was gonna run up on like Chris. You know what I'm saying? What's up? But I ran up on Hood and he was like, "I'm gonna get you with him, whatever." So mm-hmm. I did a record called. Um, I redid a Drake record. Drake had a record called uh, "Girls Love Beyonce." Yeah. And I redid it. I called it "Girls Love Rihanna." Yeah. And so Chris heard it and he flew me out there instantly. Really? Yeah. And so I was instantly in L.A. Wow. Yeah, and I, I remember they picked me up from the airport. Him and his cousin, G-Rob, picked me up from the airport. No, it was G-Rob and Hood picked me up from the airport. Yeah. And, you know, L.A. traffic crazy. It took us a long time to get there. Then I thought they weren't going to pick me up. I sat in the airport for like five hours. <laughs> then they picked me up. Then we went to Chris' house, and he was out there. We started working. We started making records. Yeah. And it was just, it was really like dream come true for me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Honestly. Because, you know, I was just young, like, just dreaming in Decatur, like, just hoping, wishing, like. That. Trying to make things move. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And. It happened. And, you know, that's my brother. You know what I'm saying? Since then, y'all been good. Yeah, we was just in studio, like, last week. Like, really? two weeks ago. Yeah, like, two weeks ago. I just left L.A., but I was just in L.A. like a week before that. We got in again. Dope. So, did you guys get a chance to work on records for you, or was it working on records we just for just working on records. It might be a record for, you know, another artist. We just working on records. Yeah, just working on records. Yeah. Look at him. You're not going to give up no juice. So, there may or may not be a Chris Brown feature on your up-and-coming album. I don't know. No, no. I, man, Chris gonna be on my album. Period. Okay. Yeah, like Chris Brown gonna be on my album. Okay. Yeah, Chris Brown gonna be on my album. Period. He's like, that's fam. That's one yeah. thing I Chris will was say. Chris was on about. my project nineteen. You know, like, what right. saying? He was on. The, he was on my project that I dropped independently before I even got signed to anything. So, right. Yeah, Chris Brown gonna be on the album. That's one thing I will say about Chris, though, is that even though he's, you would say at the top of his career he's always down to work with people who he just feels like are just amazing artists regardless of what level they yeah, are definitely you know what i mean it's an honor for me every time to work with him like even though that's my brother even though we found a relationship outside of music yeah i still it's still like that's when we when it's time when that music cut on and stuff it's like oh that's still crazy. Chris Brown. yeah you know what i'm saying same old person that's breezy now also i saw that you were in the studio with ty dollar yeah that's my nigga what happened? Shout out to Ty. He's a big shout out to Ty. How'd that come together? Was it Chris that linked y'all or what? Nah, it was uh, actually DJ Spins. Uh huh. DJ Spins. Uh, I was in LA the same time I told you I got in with Chris like two weeks ago. I um, I just was like, when well, Nash was like, uh, man, we need to, um, we need to get a record with Ty. Yeah. And you know, I always like Ty music. Like my mama like his music. Yeah. And um, and I was just like. Yeah, that'd be dope. You know what I'm saying? That'd be dope. And uh, I hit up Spins. I was like, plug me with Ty. You know what I'm saying? Because I know everybody be knowing what's going on in the game. So mm-hmm. I knew it wouldn't be nothing if I hit him. You know what I'm saying? I knew he would probably reach back. So um, we was in a group text, and Spins was like, Ty, this Kui, Kui, this Ty. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, uh, I'm in L.A. Let's work. And he just sent me an address to his crib. Oh, wow. Pulled up to his house. And we was working. Well, we didn't even work that night. We, um... Smoke. We were just vibing, yeah. You, we, <laughs> no was just vibing. Vibing. we was just we was just vibing all night. You know what I'm saying? We didn't even get off into the record. I played him some stuff. He played me some stuff, and uh, he just jumped on some stuff. So you know what I'm saying? We've been working. That'd be dope. So yeah. you think that we might be able to see Ty on this album as well? I don't even know. You don't even know? Nah, I don't even know. I ain't giving up nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so I ain't giving up nothing. <laughs> it's all good. So you're saying first quarter well, for the album? We do got a surprise on the way. Do you? Definitely. We got a big surprise on the way. I can't say that. We do got a big surprise on the way. Well, that's a big surprise for my fans. Really? Yeah, definitely. My fans gonna love. What you gonna drop another mixtape in between time? I'm just gonna do something they gonna love. Like I'm telling you. No. Love it. I'm excited. Well, I do want to see you on TV more. Me too, cause I'm looking. I keep looking over here, cause it's a little screen y'all got. He's like, I look good on that screen. <laughs> he did. <laughs> so silly. Now you were on BT Music Moguls with Birdman. Yeah, Stunner Man. And he was showing you a lot of love. Like, it's how up. important was that for you to see someone that kind of took you under his wing? Really, it's, it's still be crazy because I, like, you know, I ain't grew up watching like all the play movies. Like, you know, I was watching Baller Blocker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like for me to be with Stunner, you know, because I got with Stunner when I was 20. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was just like. It's like I'm family now, so you know, me and Stunner, it's like that's like my uncle for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's all love. But I mean, just to be with Stunner, it's like Stunner, a real legend, like a living legend. Mm-hmm. And he really got the game, you know, and he know what's happening. Yeah. And he teaches me a lot of stuff about the game. You know, he always tell me what to do and what not to do mm-hmm. and what I got to do and what I shouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He always give me advice, but he always tell me, you know, do what you want to do. You a grown man. Mm-hmm. Period. So that's Stunner, man. He's like, that's stunning, man. Well, I will say that he definitely seems very genuine when he talks about you. Oh, yeah, you. that's that's my uncle. Like, that's how I look at him. 
Yeah. Like, I respect them like that. You know what I'm saying? What respect else? me like nephew. What? Like, outside the artist. You know outside I mean? the artist? Yeah. It don't even be feeling like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it did it be crazy because you know, I don't perform with them before. Right. And I'd be like, that is bird, man. You feel me? Yeah. It'd be crazy. Well, that's dope. Now, that's my nigga, though. You feel me? <laughs> so, Rich Homie Kwan's people, or his father, was actually one who, who connected you with Birdman, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. That's my man. Now, have you gotten a chance to work with Rich Homie since then? Or? Yeah, yeah, Kwan, my brother for life. You got a lot of brothers in this game. I got a lot of niggas that was with me in the beginning. Yeah. That I got a lot of love for. Yeah. And that's what it is. Well, that's. Because everybody ain't my brother, but the niggas that I'm saying my brother's really my brother, though. That's dope. Yeah. He's forever. like, because I'm loyal. And that's yeah. family. Yeah, yeah, that's my nigga. So. What are the plans after the tour? I know you guys told me that your tour ends in December. Yeah, December 17th, the tour is over. Um, after the tour, you know, me, I'm just, it's just going to be working creatively. Creatively? Yeah. Mm. I've been auditioning for movies and stuff, too. Really? Yeah. What kind of movies? Some hard ones. Some hard ones? Like yeah. on some, like, HBO, The Wire type stuff? Or? Yeah, a lot of, you know they fly? Saying? Yeah. You're not going to tell of. us? Did you get any parts? I don't know yet, but I had a meeting the other day, and it was like, it was really impressed. Really? You know what I'm saying? So, you know how that go. So, you're going to go from rap singing to... Nah, singing. Singing to acting? Singing, you going to make that jump? To, to, I mean, yeah. I mean, I always, I always wanted to act. You know, in my videos, I always try to give you a little bit of a, a movie. movie. Yeah, mm -hmm. I always try to do that. And I'm still incorporating that into the album videos. But, yeah, definitely you'll see me, you know what I'm saying, my Denzel on. <laughs> now, I'm getting my Tupac Shakur on, really. You know what I'm saying? He's so stupid. <laughs> Anything that you've seen that you want to be a part of, like Empire or Power? Yeah, Power, my favorite show. Yeah. You know, like. Big up 50. Bro, that's Timmy, that's show. my homie. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, I tell nigga, like, man, that's my favorite show, dog. That's his show, favorite show? That's my favorite show on TV, real talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that show, that show fly. Like, I really pay attention. I don't watch, like, it's been a long time since I just watched a show that, like, had my attention. But Power, dope. Shout out 50. I need a part. He's like, you need a part. I need a part. Don't say that, because I can see them making you one of them Haitian hitters. I need a part. Put me in. I'm down. He's so silly. Now, anything else you want to let the fans know that they need to look forward to? Because I know you tonight you're performing in San Francisco at the Warfield. It's going to be lit, by the yeah, way. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Sold out show. Yeah, sold out. Um, just the album, 4275, and my single, Good Feeling. You can go get it on iTunes. That's all I want you to be worried about. Good Feeling right now. That's the focus. But my new single is on the way. We um packaging it up right now. The new single. And this this my this my favorite song, really. Why? This, That's... this is a surprise, really. The the this is your favorite song, Good Feeling, or is it a remix of something that's a surprise? Like, what you mean that's a surprise? See, I don't even know. See, y'all almost you did. I don't know. Because I see the video, I was like, she's a gorgeous girl, and is oh, yeah, yeah, focusing on you and the topic of the song. But she was bad. She was beautiful. Yeah. What's the surprise? I can't tell you. It wouldn't be a surprise. I hate you and these damn surprises. <laughs> Shay Diddy, Jacquees, Swinton Six yeah, Game, yeah. yeah.